Selling scared, not the position you want to be in when selling your property. You want to be confident when selling. Today we'll be going over 10 frequently asked questions by sellers when it comes to panic selling. I'm Andy Cassidy with Cassidy and Associates Real Estate. Welcome back to the channel and let's get into the video. Booth, stop playing with them. Frequently asked question when going to sell is how much should I list it for? As the seller, you should do your research and start with Zillow and other resources available to you. You should also ask your real estate agent. Your agent will use RPR and other sources to get a base range to go from. Then the agent will run a comparative market analysis to really narrow in on what the price should be. Make sure to be realistic in your price and don't overshoot it. Second commonly asked question is what do you think I can actually get when selling the property? This is different than the listing price. Before COVID, we were seeing overshoots um, that would go higher than the listing price. Now we're not seeing that as much. The economy and the market really dictates a lot on what you will actually get. Third commonly addressed question is what should I do to the property to get the highest price? On the exterior, your curb appeal needs to look excellent. Make sure to do any painting needed. Make sure the fascia is looking good. Take care of landscaping. Make sure there's no protruding bushes that need to be trimmed. So make sure your curb appeal is up to date and excellent. Now moving into the interior, you also need your painting and your maintenance done. You wanna have the house decluttered, meaning when you go to look in the garage, there's nothing there. And the ultimate scenario, is having the house empty with a light staging. A fourth commonly addressed question is, will my property sell during COVID-19? We are still taking listings, opening escrows and closing escrows. We have seen a pause in the upward trajectory of housing prices that we saw previously, and we're seeing more inventory coming onto the market. Fifth question is, what will I need to do in terms of disclosures? Once we have the listing, we will docu-sign to you the transfer disclosure statement, the seller's property questionnaire, the seller's property questionnaire addendum, and a slew of other disclosures, and will be available to help you fill these out if you need. Sixth question that is asked is what will happen once we get into escrow? An escrow is typically a 21 to 30 day period. Due to COVID-19, it may be a little longer. Once we're in escrow, a good faith deposit and disclosures will be submitted due diligence and inspections will occur, and a loan will have to be obtained along with other items. Seventh commonly addressed question is what are capital gains and will I have to pay them? Capital gains is the selling price of your property minus your purchase price and any capital improvements you've made. Will you have to pay them? Talk to your CPA about this as there's different rules that may apply for you. The eighth question is what will I walk away with net? This will be the sales price minus things such as capital gains, any outstanding loans, any liens on the property, and any expenses that occur during the sale of the property and any other miscellaneous items. Ninth question asked is how likely am I to close escrow on time? During pre-COVID times, we saw escrows closing on time very often. During this COVID time, we still see them closing on time with maybe a slight delay due to lenders and getting a notary. Once things go back to normal, I believe they'll still close on time. Tenth and final question is, are we at a point where property values are artificially inflated and are likely to decline in the near future? There's two sides to this argument. We have those saying no because of the government adding funds and giving out stimulus. We have others who are a lot more skeptical. It really is hard to say on this one. You don't want to be a scared seller. Now that you have this information from these 10 commonly asked questions, hopefully this will give you some more confidence. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and new videos coming out on Tuesdays and Saturdays.